Welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss functions and loops and see how we can modify our previous code to make it shorter, better, and easier to understand. To recap, in our previous video, we created a basic structure for our game to show some messages in the console. We also wrote code to get player input, which shows up in the console when they press enter. First, I'll remove the log statement showing the guess in the start method since we want to display the guess only when the player presses enter, which we've implemented in the update method below. For the log statement, I'll change the message to enter your guess and press enter to keep it simple, as we can take input from both alphanumeric keys and the numpad. Let's start with functions and how to write our own. Think of a function as a machine in a factory. Here, imagine a simple factory-like structure in the center of the screen. When we input something into the machine, it does its job and gives us an output. For example, suppose this factory paints an object red. When we send a packet, it paints it red and gives it back. But why use functions? Functions allow us to reuse code multiple times without rewriting it. No matter how many packets arrive, our factory function will paint each one red. Functions help keep your code organized and easier to understand. If something goes wrong or needs a change, you can modify just that one fun function. In c -sharp, we define a function by writing void and the function name followed by parentheses, like this. We then put the statements, the function will execute inside curly brackets. Later on, we'll cover return types, but for now, Void is a return type that means the function doesn't return any value. Let's create a function called handle user input with no return value. We'll write void handle user input, and inside we'll add a log statement to show a message in the console. Now, we can call this function in any existing method. Let's try calling it in the update method. To call a function, simply write its name followed by parentheses. When you run the game, you'll see the function's message displayed in the console. It's running multiple times because we placed it in the update method. Another essential programming concept is the loop. A loop is a process of repeating actions multiple times. Let's look at the for loop and its structure. In the start method, we'll write a for loop, start with for, followed by parentheses. Inside, we declare a variable and set its starting value, int i equals zero. Next, we define the condition. Finally, we add the increment i++ to control how the loop increases. In the loop's curly brackets, we'll write our statement. For example, debug.log i. When this loop runs, the debug.log statement will execute 10 times, showing the value of i each time. With each loop, the value of i increases by 1 until it reaches 9. Let's hit play you can see the values print from 0 to 9. Now remove this example and let's move the if statement from the update method into handle user input. Since we've already called this method in update, it will work as it did before. In our keyboard input, it looks like key press detection is only for 0 to 9. We can create this with a for loop. Let's write a for loop that increases from 0 to 9. I'll copy and paste an if statement as an example. Here, the main key is digit 0 key. To modify this, we'll use key code. So let's remove the existing code and replace it with key code digit 0. This gives a numerical value 50 that refers to digit 0 on the alphanumeric section. We'll add i to increment the loop, making our code cycle from 50 to 59 which corresponds to digit 0 through digit 9. We'll do something similar for the numpad keys and change the guess increment to i. Now we can remove all the individual checks for key presses on each digit, making the code cleaner and nicer. When we play the game, it works just as before. How's it going so far? If you have any questions or difficulties, please comment below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to the channel.